What is going on, my folks? What is going on, my folks? This your man, Mr. HD323, bringing you guys another video. That's right, another video. What? Another video, man. Let's get straight into this, man. I hit up the new Nike store in Watts, man, in Watts, California. Yep, I live in South LA, and Watts is like two blocks away from where I live at. And I've been living in South LA for so long. It's just like a, a, a dream come true for a Nike store to be put in the hood, man. Right behind the Jordan Downs projects. Can you believe that? Right where them goons and them killers is at, my guy. And it's right there. But we ain't going to start no static, man. Everybody coming over there, they trying to get shoes, man. They just trying to look fly. Man, when I pulled up to this place, man, as I knew it was going to be, like, because it's social distancing right now, so a lot of Nike outlets, you're going to have to wait in line, so I figured it will be a short, I mean, a, a pretty cool line, but it was kind of long, and the bad thing about this Nike uh, store, it only has three registers. The other Nike stores I've been to had a whole, like, L-shaped registers, maybe three, four, five maybe almost 10 registers at most Nike stores that I go to. And maybe that's why it took me so long to get in the store. But, I mean, other than that, they'll probably spice up uh, the workers, probably build new registers and get the line moving fast. But the store is dope, man. I went up in there, purchased a couple of things. I had some uh, jogger sweats that I got too small, and then I wanted to take them back. And what do you know, grand opening at the Nike store right around the corner from my house. I didn't have to go to Citadel Outlets or Way in Long Beach. Not Way in Long Beach, but it's not as close as this one. This one is eight minutes away and I'm there. So I want to see what they had as well as turning in my, uh, returning my sweats. And I copped something that I didn't expect to cop, man. And another thing, the resellers be on it, man. Like, how did y'all know? What are you guys doing, man? We just want to come here and get shoes. Why are you guys in the way, man? What are you doing? And when I came, man, I saw a dude handed. He had his mom, and he had maybe his two brothers, two friends that was with him. And he looking at the shoe. He just looking at the size, grab it, blam, handed it to his boy. Blam, handed one to his mom, handed to his cousin, whoever it was. And I'm looking for my size as they doing that. And I end up grabbing a 10 and a half, right? Which I can wear a 10 and a half. I look, and then as I'm around moseying around in the store, I look at the box, and that's a 10 and a half women's, man. So it's a nine in men's. So I'm like, damn, they didn't have my size. I went back over there. By the time I go over there, the resellers didn't already got the 10 and a half, 11s and the 11 and a half. So all those gone. And I'm like, damn, these really, these dudes really came here and swiped all the sizes. And I was just going to get the shoe uh, just to, well, I, I did get the shoe just to wear. And they going for like 350 plus on gold and on stock X as well. And of course, this shoe is going to be sought after because of what the tragedy that went on, unfortunately. But I'm getting this shoe just because I'm a fan and of the shoe and a fan of this player. And before I get into this shoe, they give you this bag that says Watts Nike on. And that's dope because that's exclusive because it's only Watts Nike. So if you don't go to this Watts Nike, you won't have this bag. And it's something uh, good to keep as a collector if you want to just collect random stuff. Let's get the shoe out the way. And they give you a couple of other things. Receipt for the receipt police. We got, what is this? This looks like a poster. Oh yeah, that's fire. Somebody with some some dunk, some dunk highs on. That's crazy. It's like a little poster. That's fire because it matched the background. That's dope. Check that out. Get a good look at that. 
Got some posters come with. Got them Cortez on that John. Somebody painting. Peace sign. Somebody, oh, somebody in a Drew League. That's fire. 103rd Street. They got the Metro Rail on there. 103rd Street on the Metro Rail. That's crazy. This is a dope ass painting. Got the Lolos on there. Speaker box. We are taught to survive. Oh, yeah, this is fire. I'm keeping this. Dang, they really did watch good on this one, man. They really looked out for the people. Then they gave us, they gave me a full-fledged booklet. Oh, this is hard. Yeah, any accessories that come with something you buy is always good because you want to get what you pay for. You know what I'm saying? So this is a Nike Watts booklet about the artist. Oh, about the artist that did these paintings and stuff. That painting that I just showed you, that's dope. About the Zion. Zion Watts celebrates the culture, community, and champions of the South Los Angeles most historic areas. This is so fire, man. They really doing good for Watts. Table of Contents got a little catalog. Ah, oh, this is dope, man. Yeah, man, that's the booklet. What else they gave us? A complimentary drink at the Watts Co Coffee House. That's fire. That's kind of low-key around the corner from the uh, from the outlet. You want some of the drink, go hit that off. And then the last, this looks like a... Is this a fr air freshener or a sticker? Either way, it's dope. But it looked like a, a sticker package. Oh, this is clean. Oh, we got some exclusiveness at the Watts Nike. Boy, y'all don't got these Watts stickers, though. <laughs> I'm so stoked, man. They really did good for the good, man. They looked out for us, man. They didn't neglect us, man, around this time. So, they give you those little accessories, and that's dope bag, sticker pack, booklet, an artist painting on a poster. And that's just so fire, man. Uh, shouts out to Nike Watts, man. The Nike Community Store on Tweety and Alameda. Hit them up if you want to, man. They got some dope stuff. When I first came in there, like I said, the resellers was pulling sizes. They had a full-size run of these. They had a full-size run of these. I'm like, hold up, should I cop these joints? Because my money be kind of tight, man. I don't be just wanting to cop anything. And I hate to sound like a hype beast, but y'all know I ain't no hype beast. Because these going straight to feet. I'm not reselling these, man. But I had to look on StockX. I'm like, do I want to pay the 180 or whatever they cost? And I think I might have got a 20% off discount. But do I want to pay that? You know what I'm saying? But when I saw that it was 350 plus, I'm like, I don't know. I don't, you know, I like the shoe and the fact that they 350 plus is why not get the shoe. And I, I promise you, I did not plan on really copping a shoe. I really wanted to turn my uh, joggers in. So, anyways, y'all see that Kobe logo. And I went for a 10 and a half this time. What's crazy is when I said the resellers grabbed all the sizes, uh, one of the employees was like, what size you need? Let me see if they got them. They got pairs in the back, man. The reseller dude just, hey, let me grab another 11. He got another 11 for himself. I think that was for himself. I know he grabbed like five other pairs, but that 11 might have been for himself. And I grabbed the 10 and a half because Kobe's, they do kind of run a little snug, but I lost weight. So my, I, a 10 and a half will be perfect. Size 11 in a narrow shoe kind of looks long. So I've had Kobe's in the past, size 11, and they look pretty long. Especially with them being low or quarter top. So, I just went with a ten and a half. And, we got the Kobe 5 Pro Pro. Boy, I mean the 4. I'm tripping. Kobe 5, I mean 4 Pro Pro. And, let's get into these snake skin things, man.
Yeah, man, but Kobe Pro Troll. I am so stoked that I grabbed these for retail, under retail, and they going for over retail plus. Because, of course, Kobe. But anyway, it's got that 24 in the back. Detailed review coming soon. Hit that like and subscribe. Follow me on all social media. Links will be in the description. Peace. What is going on, my folks? As you can see, I got this scuffed up box from them being shipped and skipped and flipped and put in the back stock or whatnot. But yeah, man, nice black Kobe logo on the box. And then check out that label. Might want to pause it, hit the label like that. Or you know what? I'll just read it to you. It's the Kobe Ford Pro Tro. Colorway is black or Aurora Green and University Whoop de Whoop Wham size 10 and a half. Women's 12. It does not have a retail tag on here, but I think they were 180. And again, check out this box. Typical black Kobe box with the hit of the shiny Kobe logo. Then as we get on the inside of the box, we got that typical tissue paper. We get to the shoe. We got this beautiful Kobe 4 silhouette. We got we got it topped off with that black kind of like a mesh upper right here. And then as we get to the toe box, we got that snake skin, man. But it feels like suede. I mean, it feels like suede, but I mean, they are a snake, so why would it be suede? But anyway, check out that toe box. Got that nice reptilian nut sack wrapped around the front. Topped off with that booty. We got the snake wrapped around the ass cheeks, pal. You see that snake wrapped around the booty? But yeah, though. You see that 24 peeking right out the booty cheeks. Check out the lining in the shoe. It got a nice comfortable lining in the Kobe 4s. It's nice and thick. Nice angle support. Medial side. We got that nice black mesh as I said. We got the black strips of fly wire going straight up. Then we got that swoosh. Multicolor. Not multicolor. But we got the half and half. Or Aurora green topped off with the uh, yellow swoosh. Uh, we got that black midsole, kind of like a flat black midsole. Then we got the yellow going around the toe. And it continues throughout the bottom. Then it kind of meets you at that black silk reptilian ball constrictor straight out of Nigeria just I'm talking about just dripping off this shoe man look check out that carbon fiber you can tell real carbon fiber by that echo sound in it then we got that Aurora I don't know how to pronounce that Aurora, Aurora green swoosh at the bottom that makes the swoosh pop and the actual outsole pop as well coming back around to the front we got that Reptile on the tongue. I don't even know what the kind of animal was that I did. I'm gonna have to edit that out. <laughs> we got that Kobe logo on the tongue. Can't go wrong with that Kobe logo. We got the black laces. No special lace tips. Tissue paper. Midsole. I mean, an insole you can take out, and it got a nice thick insole with the Aurora green swoosh on the insole. I always take my insoles out because I want to keep my insoles DS. I know I'm going to keep telling y'all that, but I love to keep my insoles DS. I'll put a size 10 and a half insole from a shoe that I already worn in here. That's thick as well. So yeah, man, nice traction on the bottom of this shoe. This is an excellent basketball shoe, man. If I can still hoop, I will really go get on the court with these. And they got major tra traction, man. Somebody really can get their ankle shifted in this shoe. And then, 
You see this little thing right here? This little uh, flap that comes out? That that helps with your balance. When you cut them hard stops, make you stop on a dime, bro. And that's fire, man. These shoes are so dope in my opinion. Got that zoom air. It's letting you know that it does have the zoom air on the inside. You might not see it, but it's there. Come back around to them ass cheeks. Man, the ass cheeks doing some, some all type of different stuff, man. Stuff. We got, look, we got the snake on the top of the ass cheeks. Then we got the slick vanilla chocolate black licorice topped off with a little bit of oil spill all on the cheeks man god damn that look good but anyways man hit that like and subscribe follow me on all social media one more thing the little lace loops got the metal lace loops and that's any little touch is dope. We got the Aurora green on this side. Then we got the yellow on that side. That's that's just dope, man. But yeah, that's about it, man. Let me show y'all a look of the other shoe. And it's not going to be doing anything different because he's like, not know what this or nothing like that. But it's just good to see both shoes together. But yeah, man, I'm putting these on feet. I'll wear them to work one day. On a light day, I wouldn't do no like heavy stuff in them because I want to keep these clean. But yeah, man, dope shoe. I'm so glad I was able to cop these things, man. Just asking like if you if you think that a shoe is gone, man, just ask. Cause, and that's crazy. I didn't even ask. I'm telling y'all to ask. But dude just came around like, what size you looking for? And I'm like, oh, you got size in the back. Hell yeah. So... He grabbed my ten and a half for me. Bless you, bro. I wish I knew your name so I can be like, hey, man, go holler at that player on Alameda one time. But anyways, hit that like and subscribe. Follow me on all social media. Links will be in the description. Peace.